Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 993. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 989 to 993, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video, 992, we created a formula that added with a partial criteria. So it added all the numbers from this column when the last three digits from the ID were 1, 2, 3. In this video, we want to conditionally format only the rows that contain an ID that end in 1, 2, 3. So we need conditional formatting for the whole row. Now, the way conditional formatting works is the entire range is highlighted, and each cell has to have a mechanism to get a true or false. True, the formatting is applied. False, the formatting is not applied. So this entire range here, I'm going to actually come over to the side and highlight a parallel range that's the same size. Because we're going to create a logical true-false formula. And sometimes it's easier to create the formulas in the cell. Once you get it working correctly, you copy and paste it into the Format Cells dialog box. All right, so the active cell is the light-colored cell. I'm going to start my formula the right function. And I'm going to say the ID for this row, and I'm going to have to lock the column reference. I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. That means that each cell in each row will only be looking at the ID. And I'm going to ask the question, hey, give me the three. I'm actually going to extract the three characters on the right. If I Control Enter, I populate that formula through all of the highlighted range. And you can see every single row has only the last three digits from the ID. Now I'm going to hit F2. And I'm going to ask the question of that uh, formula result. Are you equal to this 1, 2, 3? Now watch this, Control Enter. We get falses everywhere. Whoops. I'm going to lock that, F4, because that needs to be locked in all directions. Control Enter. We get falses everywhere. Why? Because there's a data mismatch. Right is spitting out text, and the D2 cell contains a number. So I'm going to convert this number to text by using the ampersand, the join symbol, Shift 7, and then double quote, double quote. That's a null text string. That will convert this from a number 123, F9, to text 123, Control Z. Now I can Control Enter. And there I have my pattern of trues and falses. Two trues for each row that contains an ID that ends in 1, 2, 3. Now, to copy it, I'm going to copy the right, the upper rightmost cell in this range. In Edit Mode, Control C, Escape. And then I'm going to highlight this range. Now, notice the active cell is the rightmost in the highlighted range. And now I'm going to open up the conditional formatting new rule. So I could go new rule, or use the keyboard Alt-O-D. New rule, F use a formula to determine which cells to format. And down here, I can Control-V, format. And you can format it however you want in all four tabs. I'm simply going to select some format. OK, OK, three OKs, and there we go. If I change this to 689, there should be one record. If I change it back to 1, 2, 3, it is dynamic and working. All right, we'll see you next trick.